Hey folks, it's Haas again from GNAT News. I am once again at Ray Chen's place in Dorset, the Inn at Westview Farm. He's gonna be showing us another great dish that we can all make at home. So let me take the camera from him and let's rock and roll. Okay, Sir Ray, Yo. what are we making? We are making fried rice. To make this dish take you five minutes. Our ingredients are Chinese sausage, egg, peas, peas. oil, and oil. some rice that I made about two hours ago. Okay, can I start asking you questions? You may. Where am I gonna get that? Albany, dude. <laughs> come on, everything. <laughs> come on, I can't. Not, uh, uh, no, it's something else. It's not that far. All right, it's not. But if if it was a snowy night and the kids wanted some fried rice and I don't have, what is this again? Chinese sausage. What would you add, Hasso? Um, I, I don't know. I Bacon. <laughs> bacon, yes. Everything's better with bacon. All right, so I can use bacon for yes. this. Yes. Okay, So cool. actually, typically, we do use bacon but my mommy got me some sausage for Thanksgiving. <laughs> so I have 10 pounds of this stuff. <laughs> so we're gonna use Chinese sausage. All right, okay? I'm ready. We're ready, all right. You want your pan hot, you want your oil hot this way. Your odds of sticking are greatly reduced. Not perfect, but greatly reduced. Does that work with eggs too, by the way? Yeah, well, you're gonna see we're gonna add eggs. So ah, it okay. may work, it may not work. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> so we're gonna add a little bit of salt like we do to everything. Salt. And we're gonna just mix it up. All right, I've just gotten home and yeah. I'm gonna make fried rice. And so I'm literally just about to make the rice. Does it matter if it's hot, the rice? You probably don't wanna use hot rice if you're making a lot, um, cause it will have steam and it will wanna stick together instead of fry individually. So, gotcha. okay. but ideally you're using cool rice or rice that you refrigerated. All right, so make it the night before. Make it the night before. Okay, so my pan's hot. I'm gonna add maybe a tablespoon of oil. Any kind of oil you uh, like? It's just any vegetable oil. And vegetable. all I'm gonna do is get this cooked through. Got it. And if, with, if you're using bacon, use, um, you know, obviously cook the bacon ahead. Like if you had it for breakfast, yeah, yeah. you can use your cooked bacon, chop it up. But I wouldn't go through this cook process. I would add it when I add my rice. Okay, because you, you don't need to, it's already cooked. Okay, got it. So just add it. It's one of the final things you add then, it sounds like. Right, when you, you'll see when we finish this whole process, everything kind of just happens at the same time. What if I just had olive oil? It's fine. It's just going to taste like olive oil. I mean, it's not fine. Does it really. add? <laughs> so it's, does, it, it's not going to taste right. It does add a taste. You want a neutral flavored oil. Got it. Right. But I mean, the more you cook olive oil, the less it tastes like olive oil. So in a pinch, you'll be fine. Okay, once it's done, I just take out my sausage, put my pan back on. I still have enough oil to cook my eggs. And so now we'll see if it's going to stick or not. Always pull to the center, because right? your edges are hotter. Ah. So if I pull to the center, and on this stove here is really hot. So this is for anything you're making. Oh yeah, you're eggs. making breakfast. Yeah, just pull to the center, and then do that. <laughs> <laughs> so my eggs are done. It didn't stick. Oh yes, I'm sorry. Right. I should have said something that we, like, "Wow, props for that, right? that didn't uh, that didn't stick right. That's pretty oh, good." Yeah. So pan's still hot, I'm just going to add some more oil with a tablespoon. And then I'm just going to add my rice. So um, is this everyday rice? Is this uh, jasmine rice? You can use like Carolina rice, you know, any kind of... Uh, Do different rices change the dish? Um, yeah, I mean you could get the short grains that are stickier, sweet rice which are super sticky, so I would go with this kind of medium long grain. Jasmine's nice because it smells nice. Mm. So from here I'm pretty much done. All I'm gonna do is add my peas. You're not measuring, you're just going, do you like peas, do you hate peas, how many peas do you want to add? I'm gonna add my eggs back. So some people like to get it crispy on the bottom. If you do then just let it sit for a second. And then what I, look, I do is I add salt, I add soy sauce, and I add a little sesame oil. And 
and then I'm pretty much done. That's a great dish. So really, once you have the rice done, this is something you can whip up within. Oh yeah. Well, five minutes it saves on. That's, that's what I said, right? Did you say that? I did. <laughs> Damn, he's good with time too. Oh, you can add scallions. I forgot to cut scallions, so that's okay. Not so you add scallions too. Hey, Sir Ray. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. We'll see you next time. See you next time.